Hello and welcome, my name is Chris from ChristopherHall.com and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at foot mechanics and forefoot running. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of, sort of the, I guess, the, um, the advantages of forefoot running, but mostly we're going to be looking at the mechanics that basically show us why forefoot running is so much more uh, beneficial for us than, than, say, a heel strike. So, foot mechanics and forefoot running. Now, as you can see on the picture, we've uh, on the picture on the right hand side, we've got five different feet, which is basically just the layers of um, the tissues that happen within the within the bottom and the top of the foot. But we don't have to worry too much about sort of specifically what they are and all their different names, which is why the um, uh, sort of the uh, the labels are a little bit fuzzy, um, but that's not that's not terribly important at this moment in time. What I want us to start looking at is this little part of the picture here. Now, all this is representing this is the bones of the feet and how they're organised. Now, there's loads of little bones in the feet, and what that allows the foot to do is become very very strong yet very very um, uh, pliable, durable. Uh, I don't want to say flexible because I wouldn't say the foot is very flexible, but it gives it a certain durability um, with, a, with a greater degree of, of strength. If it was just one rigid bone, it would be a very sort of undurable, indurable, non-durable, whatever the right word is, um, structure. And as we layer on top, we start to see muscles. And then as the final layer, we see this, this sort of grey or white sheath um, known as the plantar fascia. And we're going to talk a little bit more about those in a second. But for now, what we need to understand is as our foot hits the floor, it can generate up to three times our body weight. So if you are a, an 80 kilo or a 70 kilo person, that's going to be 210 to 240 kilos of weight being transferred into that foot. So the first thing our foot needs to do is absorb that impact and that's what the structure of these bones allows to happen. It allows the muscles to absorb some of it and it allows this plantar fascia to absorb it. What then happens as it starts to absorb it, it starts to store it. So it, it stores some of those forces and some of those impacts ready for the final stage which is to use it. So what happens is as your, the front of your foot hits the floor, the heel then starts to move towards the ground. This is stretching all of these muscles and it's stretching this plantar fascia. And there is a ligament on the inside of your foot called the, uh, called the stretch ligament, or the spring ligament, sorry. And all of these tissues, they stretch just like an elastic band. And then when they get to their sort of full potential of stretch, just like an elastic band, they spring back together. And that's what gives us um, a more efficient and more effective running style. So with regards to the foot, the reason why we want to be using the forefront of the foot is to allow that stretch to happen just like an elastic band so it can spring back. Obviously with the heel strike, when the heel hits the floor and you roll onto the front of your foot, that stretch isn't very effective because there isn't much of a stretch that happens. But when you load that all those tissues with three times your body weight, just like an elastic band, it stretches apart and then it lets go and springs back together. And that's a part of the mechanism that propels you forward and allows forefoot running to be that much more efficient. Plus, all the tissues are set up to, to manage all of the shock. Now, if you're thinking, if you are a heel striker and you're thinking of going to uh, forefoot striking, what I must say is make sure you do it in the right amount because if you're a heel striker and you can run 10, 15, 20 miles in, in, in one go, then I wouldn't recommend running 10, 15, 20 miles up on your forefoot because your, your tissues won't be conditioned for that. They're conditioned for, forf uh, for heel striking. So what you have to do is condition your foot to be able to cope with those loads. So if you are thinking of changing or adapting, then only do it in small chunks. Don't just, you know, do what you could normally do um, as a as a heel striker and just transfer that straight into a forefoot strike. 
Okay, many thanks. Um, I will speak to you in another video where we're going to be talking about the hips and, uh, and the knees.